Hey, bro. Me again, Nikita. Uh, since you've clicked on this video, I suppose you wanted to know an answer to the question of uh, how to not fall back after another consistency fail, right? Okay, I'll give it to you. But you have to understand that you will only get the result of this video, which this video is trying to get you, because why, why do I need it when I already reached it? Whatever, okay, stop wasting time. Just watch the video fully to understand everything. Basically, every time you fail, it's, uh, it's a matter of how you think of it before failing. You understand, when you stop eating sweets, for example, the moment you see another sweet after saying that, and maybe committing, even committing to it in your brain, you have a temptation for some reason. Why? Why you have a temptation to eat another candy or another junk food again when you said you are not gonna? Well, that's because of the lack of belief in your own goal and your own not lunch, like your own promise. You don't believe yourself and that's the problem. So the solution to it is, first of all, to tell yourself and to be a guy who will be always truthful to at the very least himself. But you have to understand that we become truthful to ourselves only then when we are being truthful to others. Because we cannot be truthful without practicing, like everything in life. Also belief, yeah, it's also the second most important part. I'm not saying you will succeed without it, because you will not. You will not succeed without a belief. You will have to have one strong, big, giant, belief in your head so your brain will understand that this is true this exists this guy is really making a real commitment to the rest of his life or at least to the rest of the week whatever your goal may be your brain ha has to understand that you are telling truth to it and you're not trying to tell him any fairies, fairy tales. Fairy tales are uh, the commitments which are, which are sounding like, yes, I'm going to make a million dollars today. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe not. I'm good. Man, I got so motivated because of this video of Iman Gadzi. I'm going to make a million dollars until the next week. Your brain doesn't believe this, and you forget it on the next day. Maybe even earlier. Maybe after the next video you watched after this motivational one. So, basically, there is two most important parts without which you will not succeed. First, you have to prove yourself, your brain to be exact, that this is true and your commitment is serious. This you have to, uh, you have to figure out on your own or go, go and watch one of my first, uh, my own videos because this channel was used to archive Hamza's videos before. I mean, they are really useful though. Why not archive them just in case? And, uh, and the second part without which you would not succeed is to be ready for it. Because if you will not understand or no, if you will not, if you will not plan any of your fails in front before doing something, you will fail miserably. You know what the problem is? When you fail, and you always will fail. Don't try being a, a 
pussy boy and say, no, I'm not failing. I'm not failing. Stop saying me that. I'm not a failure. No, no. You are. And so am I. I've been playing a video, video games for my whole life. And I am a failure because of it. And because of it, I decided I am being truthful to myself. And so I'm a failure. If you want to be, if you want to succeed in not falling back after your next attempt at doing something new, something productive, or uh, starting a new hobby, useful, then plan it. You will always fail. I always fail. Everybody always fail. The most, the most. Uh, Smart, the smartest people on earth are always failing. Nobody is not failing. There is, there are no failless, fail, failureless people. So, since it is inevitable, just plan b before it. Basically, it. Thank you, bros.